Hello Sea Stars and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And on today's video, I want to talk about bath bomb embeds. Now, I do make a powdered mix of embed powder. I was contemplating buying embeds on Etsy, but you know, they were quite high. So I wasn't sure if it's worth it. If you're like me, like I do not do good with embed bards, period. I just end up adding too much water. Like I'm making bath bomb mix, which I'm not, and I just can't do it. So I wanna try to make embed bars with an actual mold that I already have. Now I've tried the tub thing, y'all. It don't work for me, so I'm, yeah. I like to complicate things just to make it simple. For me, I like to dumb it down for myself. So I'm going to see if I can press together the mix and then cut them up, if that'll be better for me. And I will be using my hexagon mold and I will be doing three different layers. To me, I won't do the 3D effect on it. I do have a flat bottom um, surface, but I'll be able to cut these up. While doing that, I'm going to compare the price. So I will let you guys know at the end what my cost was to making them, how many I got, what the popular shops on Etsy are selling them for. So if that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. So I'm first going to start off with baking soda. If you don't know what embeds are, embeds are the color inside of a bath bomb. You can make it powder, you can make it cubes. Everybody does something different. So here, I know it's hard to see you guys, but I have a shot glass with probably three milliliters of water and then about a gram of poly uh, sorbet 80 in here that I mixed up. I am going to fast bloom my color it. A lot of people add it to the baking soda and then add the water to it, but I like to add mine to the water just so I could see, you know, somewhat of the color and that's called fast blooming. So this first color is called bubble gum. It would help if I had gloves on. And dump it in. And I go in here and I'm gonna scrape out every bit of color because yes, that costs money. You wanna get as much of it out as you can. It's like you paid for it, so definitely get your money's worth. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm gonna shuffle it in here, make sure it's mixed pretty well. A lot of people go like this just to, if you see streaks like that in there, it needs to be mixed more, so a lot of people just make sure they shuffle it through. And the more you mix, the darker it's gonna get. Oh my gosh, and look at that. That is a beautiful bubblegum color. Shout out to the Muddy Soap Co. Company down in Texas. Um, my husband and I lived in Texas and we're happy to help a local business there. I will leave their link in the description below if you're interested in ordering any lakes or dyes from her. These are pretty awesome. For this next color, I have blue one dye. So our blue is all done. This next one is pink Penelope. I'm hoping it's just not as bright as that other pink. If I need to, I can kind of make it like a red. That's definitely a pretty pink. Kind of like a coral. See, here's the bright pink and then here's the other pink. Okay, for this next one, I want purple. I'm kind of just gonna have to mix my colors together. So I got it. So yep, got my purple. Very last color that I'm attempting to try to make is orange. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just wave them out evenly. I'm gonna kind of just get it leveled in there, mush them together, and just dump out that excess on top. Put it on my little thing and then push it together. Okay, 
Okay, hopefully I'm in frame here, guys. Just gonna flip it over, pull off my mold, whack that guy off. Okay, take out the bottom. And I'm kind of just gonna let it set up for a little bit until I cut it. I mean, if I could, I could put this piece in there. So now that I have some of them done, I am going to try to cut these even more. And yeah, that works. These are the best embeds I've had. Um, doing the other layer doesn't work for me. I'll probably make the layers a little bit thicker. Um, another thing I could do is I can kind of push this together more to shape it better. I want to make smaller ones I can now are these the prettiest no but they're gonna be inside of a bath bomb so nobody's gonna see it but me because I'm the one that puts it in there and you guys because you see me put it in so I'm gonna finish up on these and then I'm going to do a demo for you guys the next day when these guys dry it's now the next morning. These guys are dry. Coming to the end of my mix, I noticed that it was starting to uh, get dry. So I did have to add a couple spritzes of alcohol, but you know, that's typical. As you can see, I got so many color combinations. So doing this method, I was able to make five different colors. And that put my total cost, that includes my baking soda, citric acid, poly 80, and colorants at $8.35 for the batch. With these batches, I got 162 different bars and 11 different color variants, which makes my cost per embed bar five cents a piece. Now on Etsy, the cheapest version I was able to find was the bars for 26 cents and that is if you get 100 bars with 100 bars at 26 cents a piece i'm gonna end up spending 26 dollars now my cost for a hundred bars is five dollars so it is way cheaper for me to make my own bars i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one